Hello. Uh, our lecture today is about the spinal cord anatomy. محاضرتنا اليوم هي عن spinal cord و راح نشوف يعني عبر السلايدات <coughs> the main features and morphological features of the spinal cord. The spinal cord, as a definition, is an important part of the central nervous system. And is an relay for the information coming from higher to lower or from the body to the upper central nervous system. The spinal cord as we mentioned in the central nervous system as shown in this scheme of the lecture. And then we should have some information about the uh, architecture and the morphology of the spinal cord. The spinal cord in shape it is cylindrical and flattened in the anterior and posterior view. It is a cylindrical shape occupied in the upper two-thirds of the vertebral column. كنا نعرف أنه الـ vertebral column هو group of أو number of vertebrae from cervical region to the sacral region, coccygeal region and inside this vertebral column we have a canal called vertebral canal and the spinal nerve, the spinal cord sorry, is occupied there in the upper two-thirds of the vertebral canal. Uh, this vertebral canal as we mentioned, or the vertebral column is composed of uh, seven cervical vertebrae, twelve thoracic vertebrae, five lumbar, five sacral. They are fused to form the sacral bone, and four coccygeal vertebrae. Between each adjacent vertebra, we have a fibrocartilaginous structure called the intervertebral disc, composed of central part. Uh, and the peripheral part annulus fibrosus and the central one called annulus bulbosus now the uh, have a look to the vertebra have a look to the features of the vertebra in general the vertebra is composed of a body uh, and uh, a neural arch the neural arch is composed of uh, two lamina on each side uh, two pedicle and two lamina now these are the pedicles present here pedicle on each side and we have the lamina also here pairs of lamina for each neural arch so two pedicles two lamina fused together forming the neural arch uh, completed by the body of the vertebra forming the main skeleton of the vertebra and also here we have one posterior uh, spinous process and two laterally located uh, transverse process processes okay this is the general plan of the vertebra now the vertebral canal it is the gap here present within the uh, vertebra and by uh, the um, arrangement of the vertebrae from cervical to the coccygeal region we will end up with the vertebral column and uh, the collection of these foramina will form what is called the vertebral canal in which we have the spinal cord in the upper two-third of it um, we have an important uh, information here about the what is called the intervertebral foramina which is the site of exit of the spinal nerves along the uh, whole length of the vertebral column uh, when we have two adjacent vertebra in position like just in live uh, uh, vertebral column we have a notch here in the uh, pedicle the pedicle is notched okay and there 
on its upper and lower surface. This is the pedicle of the vertebra below, notched. And this is the pedicle of the vertebra above, is also notched. So uh, when these two vertebrae present in position like that, we will end up with foramina. By the coalition of two notches, will form a foramina. This, this foramina, we call it the intervertebral foramina, which is the site for exit mainly of the uh, 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 spinal nerves, the root, the, the root of the spinal nerves. Okay. With the with its uh, blood supply adjacent or so the accompanying blood supply blood vessels. So the intervertebral foramina containing the roots of the spinal nerves uh, plus the blood vessels there. Surely the spinal nerve or the roots of the spinal nerve they are covered by the meninges. Now again we back to the spinal cord. Just so when I shift how the vertebral canal is formed, how the intervertebral foramina is formed, because they are related to the morphology and anatomy of the spinal nerve cord. Now this spinal cord has a cylindrical shape structures present in the upper two thirds of the vertebral column. It has a midline groove, we call it the anterior median fissure. Here, we can label it here, the anterior median fissure. And on the posterior aspect, we have what is called the posterior median sulcus, the posterior median sulcus. This two structures, the fissure and the sulcus, will divide the cross section of the spinal cord into two halves, right and left half, right and left half. We will uh, uh, talk about it in a moment. This spinal cord uh, range in, in, in length uh, from uh, 42 to 45 centimeters in length, and commonly it is 4 to 5 centimeter in length. Um, <clears throat> the diameter of the spinal cord uh, about 2 centimeter. This spinal uh, nerve, spinal cord, sorry, uh, is part of the central nervous system and begins as a continuation from the uh, uh, medulla oblongata, which is the lower part of the brain stem. So if you continue here down, we will continue with the structure, we call it the spinal cord. This spinal cord will extend from the foramen magnum and then end to the level of second lumbar vertebra we call it L2 vertebra so the level of termination of the spinal cord is at the level of mostly at the level of L2 vertebra in adult you can say it like that in adult the uh, the termination of the spinal cord will end at the level of uh, L1 L2 or more specifically the intervertebral disc between L1 and L2 vertebra. So this is the area when the spinal cord is terminated. So below this level, we have no spinal cord uh, structure. Only we have a collection of nerves and meninges. Now, in the early life, in the fetal life, or even in the infancy, the spinal cord it is tending to a lower limit than what is what what we have in the adult uh, uh, age. Uh, here, the spinal cord uh, is tending to the level of S2, ending to the level of S2. Again, with the dura mater, because the spinal cord is covered by meninges, the three meninges we know it. We will uh, come in uh, 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 a minute to say something about the meninges of the spinal cord. Okay, this spinal uh, cord in infancy and even in the fetal life, uh, a little bit uh, ending lower uh, uh, in level than what is, uh, we have in the adult spinal cord. So at the level of S2, it is the point of ending or termination of the 
spinal cord okay and after that after this level below this level whether in the adult or even in the infancy or fetal life the um, uh, what, what 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 we have uh, is what is called the cord equina a group of uh, spinal nerves uh, with uh, the remaining part of the uh, pia mater now if we um, have uh, imagination about the situation here when we have the spinal cord is terminated here at the level of L1, L2 and then what remains from the spinal nerves let us say the lumbar spinal nerves and below this lumbar and sacral spinal nerves they will come to exit from the spinal cord from the corresponding number intervertebral foramina uh, يعني خلي أوضح الفكرة إنه the spinal cords in the thoracic region and even in the cervical region will exit from the vertebral canal to the outside to reach the organ of effect or action uh, from the corresponding intervertebral foramina which lies almost almost on the same horizontal plane or level while here when we have the spinal cord is ended at the level of L1, L2 so we have these nerves lumbar and sacral nerves should go down or slope down to reach the corresponding number intervertebral foramina to get out of the spinal cord وبالتالي we will have uh, uh, elongated spinal nerves the lumbar and the sacral spinal will be elongated so this group of lumbar and sacral elongated uh, spinal nerves collectively we call it the coda equina if we have a look to the spinal uh, cord profile we will have uh, um, a note here that at the region of cervical or the lumbosacral we have an enlargement or swelling of the spinal cord itself and this swelling or enlargement we call it cervical spinal enlargement or the lumbosacral sp uh, spinal enlargement the increased number of neurons the increased mass of nerve cells present in these two regions will lead to this enlargement or uh, swelling and uh, the the idea of an increased number of neurons we will expect that we have an extra important function in these two regions طبعاً بمنطقة cervical region this enlargement is responsible for the formation of the uh, brachial plexus and while the uh, enlargement present in the lumbosacral region will serve for the formation of the lumbar and lumbosacral uh, plexus of nerves وبالتالي الفكرة من وجود enlargement due to an increased number of neurons معناته we have another uh, extra functions here طيب these enlargement the cervical region at the level تقريباً of uh, C5 T1 segment of the spinal cord and the lumbosacral enlargement تقريباً at the level of L2 S3 segment of the spinal cord بس ملاحظة please إنه انتبهوا من أقول L2 segment وليس vertebra L2 segment of the spinal cord and not does it mean the L2, uh, S2, uh, L2 uh, vertebra L2 segment of the spinal cord doesn't mean the L2 uh, vertebra. Now, this is a cross section at the region of cervical enlargement. You can see here the gray matter, and the uh, below picture is for the lumbar enlargement.
again we can see it in the myelogram we have dilatation here due to the enlargement of the spinal cord mass which uh, render the space here more wider uh, the spinal cord as an organ of CNS is covered by three meninges just like the higher uh, brain which is the uh, covered by three meninges the uh, pia matter the arachnoid matter and the outer uh, dura matter now here the spinal cord is covered by the outer dura fibrous tissue where the uh, inner pia matter the vascular layer and the in between the arachnoid which is a mesh of or network tissue the spinal dura mater or fecae is a prolongation of the dura mater of the cranium of the cranium of the uh, it passes uh, through the foramen magnum downward lining the uh, vertebral canal from inside uh, this is the I will enlarge zoom in the picture and you can see this is the um, a dura mater the dura mater I think number seven here the dura mater is the outer fibrous covering of the spinal cord which lines the uh, vertebral column the other um, just to mention that in, in, in uh, the dura mater is ending at the level of S2 vertebra at the level of S2 vertebra which is the, the, the length of the fecal sac so below the level of S2 we have no fecal sac okay the spinal dura which means the dura mater is pierced segmentally at level of each intervertebral foramina by the roots of the spinal nerves because these roots comes from the spinal cord with how will titla outside the spinal uh, the vertebral column through the intervertebral foramen obitali this lining of uh, fecae or the dura should be pierced segmentally at each exit site for the spinal roots so uh, we will have this segmentally perforated or fenestrated dura or fecal sac to permit the exit of the roots of the spinal nerve the pia mater which is the uh, uh, inner uh, meningeal layer that covers the uh, uh, spinal cord itself which is a vascular layer so the main vascularity comes uh, from this pia mater layer <coughs> Akid, the pia mater is a continuous from the pia that covers or invest the CNS yani nefes ali mojude continue downward with the spinal cord until it reaches the termination uh, uh, level and the adult spinal cord at the level of L1, L2 and there is no more spinal cord just a pia mater without uh, 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 spinal cord tissue this pia projected uh, below the level of termination of spinal cord then semiha phylum terminali to some phylum terminali that perforates the spinal fecal or dural uh, uh, layer at the level of S2 to reach the back of the coccyx yani attached to the coccyx piercing the fecae and attached to the coccyx the spinal cord its end at the level of L1 and L2 level uh, it, will, it will tapered tapered uh, way so it will cone shape in semi uh, conus medullaris so, so at the end uh, uh, of the spinal cord at the level of l1 l2 just like a cone 
شكلا مخروطي فيسمى كونس مودولارس اوكي ام هير وي كان سي ذا كونتينويشن اوف ذا بيا ماتر لون الاخضر افتر ذا ليفل اوف ال1 ال2 وين ذا سبانال كورد از اندد and then continue the pyometer continue downward as a phylum terminali to pierce the theca here to pierce the theca thecal sac here and then uh, it will go to the uh, to be attached to the uh, coccyx okay You can see here. Sorry. This is the phylum terminali. Comes like that, and then backward to reach the coccyx. Mm -hmm. The term denticulates ligament or ligamentum denticulatum. Uh, this is a lateral projection of the pyometer on each side of the spinal cord it crosses the subarachnoid space and reaching the arachnoid matter and then piercing it reaching to the fecal layer or fecal sac on the inside wall of the vertebral column يعني هي عبارة عن lateral projections from the pyometer طبعا it serves it serves انه it fix or fixing the the spinal cord to the sides of the vertebral column واحدة من الفاكتورز that fixed the spinal cord uh, this uh, or these denticulate ligaments uh, continuous from up downward on each side of the spinal cord attached in an unbroken line from the foramen magnum to the conus medullaris of the spinal cord هاي تقريبا هنا تصير ال denticulate ligament هاي lateral projections طبعا it passes between the anterior root of the spinal cord and the posterior root this first denticulate ligament بس حتى ناخذ فكرة الليفل مالته is located above the foramen magnum between the vertebral artery and the spinal root of accessory nerve higher up near the skull uh, the first projection of the pyometer present between the um, vertebral artery that passes inside the the cranium and the spinal root of accessory nerve you can see here myelogram and this uh, identations uh, we indicated by the arrows the red arrows these are indicates the presence of the lateral projection of the uh, uh, pyometer at the site of uh, near the uh, intervertebral foramina so it acts as a fixative or fixating sorry factor for the spinal cord now uh, the third layer of the spinal meninges we have uh, the subarachnoid this the arachnoid matter which is a delicate uh, uh, substance and the space between the arachnoid matter and the pia matter the inner layer we call it the subarachnoid space this space is relatively large containing the um, the CSF about half of the amount of CSF we know in the, whole, uh, the total amount of the CSF in the subarachnoid space collectively in the in the cranium and in the spinal uh, in the vertebral column or vertebral canal sorry uh, about 150 mil so half of this amount is 
present in the um, in the subarachnoid space of the spinal cord. This space is communicated through the foramen magnum, with the subarachnoid space of the posterior cranial fossa. Below the level of the conus medullaris, which is the termination points of the spinal cord, this space, the subarachnoid space, uh, will uh, contain only the cord equina, which is a group of uh, nerves that we talked about a most the lumbar and sacral, and also the phylum terminale, which is the termination part of uh, pia mater. And then the subarachnoid space below the level of L1 L2 يحتوي على ال cord equina وال phylum terminale. In addition to that, the CSF that circulating. Okay, the subarachnoid space is ended at the level of S2. يعني حالة حالة الدورات ماتر الثيكل ساكن تهي at the level of S2. وبالتالي there is no more subarachnoid space below this level. هذا هو تقريبا صورة ال MRI. نشوف ال spinal cord هنا أنا منتهي ال spinal cord at the level of L1 L2. وبالتالي هذا كله كود إكوينا وهذا اللون الأسود هو عبارة عن سب أركنود سبيس ينتهي at the level of S2 هنا نهاية ال vertebral column فهنا الفيكا ساك تنتهي ال سب أركنود سبيس ينتهي ال أركنود ماتر تنتهي و ال فايلم ترمينالي اللي هي ال بايا ماتر continue and piercing the fecal sac to be attached to the coccyx Now, uh, each spinal uh, segment, the spinal cord is, is, is divided into segments, cervical segment of the spinal cord, thoracic segment, lumbar segment, sacral segment, and so on. So for each segment, we have a pair of spinal nerves. We have right and left spinal nerve. طبعا في كل مكان ممكن spinal nerve هذا يسمى تسمية معينة. يعني مثلا intercostal nerves هي spinal nerves لكنها يعني تسمى في الثراسك region spinal nerves so each spinal nerve is formed from anterior and posterior as you see here in the picture and posterior roots and these two roots composed of a group of rootlets طبعا ال posterior rootlets they are larger in number than the anterior root, rootlets. Sorry. Okay. El, uh, now, the uh, a short distance from the spinal cord to the intervertebral foramen, high machan, where it's subarachnoid space. So these rootlets passing from the anterior or posterior aspect of the spinal cord segment, and then reaching the intervertebral foramen when each one will take a sleeve of or cuff of dura uh, meninges with it يعني ال ال rootlets أو roots لما تدخل بال ال ال intervertebral foramen تكون مغطاة بالديورة تأخذ معها cuff or sleeve of dura mater so it will invaginate the dura mater before they unite to form the single spinal nerve here. يعني هاي المنطقة كلها مغطاة بسليف or cuff or invagination of the dura mater. طبعا on each side الكلام صحيح. Again, هاي صورة الفرتبرة with intervertebral foramina. You can see here إنه the roots, the posterior root, and the anterior root unite together inside the intervertebral foramen, and they are covered by the meninges, which is the dura meninges, the dura meninges. The posterior roots of the spinal nerve containing an enlargement here, we call it. The dorsal root ganglia, 
dorsal root ganglia on the lies on the posterior root of the spinal nerve and this ganglia contains a group of neurons yeah, nerve cells وبالتالي احنا يعني هذا تسمية terminology انه collection of neurons inside the CNS we call it nucleus and the collection of neurons outside the uh, central nervous system we call it ganglia so the ganglia they are a group of neurons serving a specific function whether motor or sensory لكن هنا نحن عندنا the dorsal root ganglia is a sensory ganglia lies on the posterior root of the spinal nerve again this ganglia is covered by uh, dura uh, meninges if we take a cross section of the spinal cord we can see the uh, if we take a transverse section of a spinal cord it will really uh, reveal um, a butterfly architecture تقريبا شكله يعني butterfly or edge shape edge shape architecture or pattern of dark or gray matter we call it gray matter the gray matter containing the neurons mainly the pericardium the body of the nerve cells while the uh, the outer surrounding uh, white matter containing mainly the axons of the uh, nerve cells okay this um, edge shape gray matter containing nerve cells we have an anterior fissure with posterior sulcus will divide the segment of the spinal cord into two halves so we have right and left half but in between we have this bar connecting bar or communicating bar it is a type of uh, commissure a type of commissure so the edge shape gray matter called the gray commissure which contains the central central spinal canal I white spot white dot here it is the central spinal canal which continues upward which continues upward with the uh, um, fourth ventricle or uh, other ventricular system so it contains the CSF circulating CSF now <clears throat> here the central uh, spinal canal if we go uh, up with it we will reach to the cavity of the fourth ventricle between the cerebellum posteriorly and the brainstem anteriorly okay now again this cross section of spinal cord uh, uh, we can see that the outer uh, white matter arranged into uh, columns and the uh, gray matter arranged into horns so we can uh, divide the horn or the gray matter into three horns the anterior horn the posterior horn and sometimes we have lateral horn Okay, we have lateral horn. طبعاً بعض الكتب يقولون four horns, اللي هي the anterior, the posterior, the intermediate, and the lateral horn in some uh, areas. لكن ممكن نقول إحنا we have anterior, posterior horn, and we have the lateral horn in some situations. Now, while the white matter is divided into columns. We have lateral column, we have posterior column, and we have anterior column of white matter. The main type of the neurons present in the anterior horn 
is the motor is the motor neurons that concern with the innervation of the muscles yani motor innervation while the type of neurons present in the posterior horn um, it is mainly a sensory neurons and the type of cells of neurons uh, present in the lateral horn uh, it serve for autonomic function it serve for autonomic functions whether sympathetic in the upper part or in the or uh, parasympathetic in the lower part of the spinal cord you can see this is the real section of the spinal cord uh, we can see the uh, uh, gray matter is white and the white matter is gray or dark this is due to this the, the silver stain uh, staining the axons of the of the spinal cord okay uh, again we, uh, we should have an a, a knowledge about the um, lamination lamination or a classification of the gray matter of the spinal uh, cord so the gray matter is divided into a group of cells we can see the medial group the central group and the lateral group the medial group the anterior horn a medial group where uh, lateral group and central group the medial group all of them they are motor in function but uh, more easy to understand you know we have the medial group of neurons in the anterior horn concerning with the skeletal muscle innervation in the upper part trunk and neck while the uh, 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 lateral group of the um, neurons in the horn concerning with the skeletal muscle innervation of the lower of, of the limbs whether upper limb and lower limb while the central group of neurons lies in the central part innervates the diaphragm and the adjacent structures these are the three main group of neurons present in the anterior horn of the spinal cord while the posterior gray matter the posterior horn mainly containing sensory neurons they serve for a sensory function we have here تقريباً five group of neurons we can name them as follows the substantia gelatinose that are present throughout the length of the spinal cord موجود على كل levels of the spinal cord when تأخذ مقطع spinal cord راح تشوف هاي اللامنة وين and receive it receive a uh, yani sensory input for the pain touch and temperature substantia gelatinosa the second uh, lamina or the second group of neurons in the posterior horn we have the nucleus proprius they are concerning with the proprioception and two point discrimination and vibration function also they are sensory uh, it is present the nucleus proprius more anterior to the gelatinosa substance and the gelatinous substance lies just here and the nucleus proprius lies just here more anterior more lateral more anterior and more lateral the third lamina or group of neurons in the dorsal horn of a spinal cord situated between the level of uh, c8 and l4 يعني إذا رحنا above the level of c8 segment there is no a nucleus of a clark and if we go below the level of L4 segment of the spinal cord we have no uh, a nucleus of a clark so the dorsal nucleus of a clark is uh, present between these levels of the spinal cord concerning with the proprioception and also the neuromuscular tendon spindle or nerve ending in the, tend in the tendon of the muscles now the fourth the visceral the visceral uh, afferent nucleus it means also sensory here this is the uh, yani the uh, the same of clark nucleus like in the present uh, lateral to the dorsal nucleus of clark between the level of L t1 and l4 segments uh, receive visceral sensory informations receive sensory uh, informations sensory visceral information from the visceral 
so it concerns even with the pain from the viscera. Now, um, the lateral horn, uh, if we find found it in the lateral part of the uh, gray matter of the spinal cord, حسب المنطقة إذا كانت المنطقة هي thoracic region thoracic region of spinal cord so the lateral horn will contain the uh, sympathetic sympathetic outflow while if we have the lateral horn in the uh, uh, sacral region it will uh, uh, it, it contain it contains the neurons that serve the para uh, sympathetic uh, outflow okay فخلينا ناخذ فكرة على هذا الموضوع انه ال lateral horn اذا موجود اما بال ال ال منطقة ال 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 thoracic region او منطقة ال sacral region so the lateral horn in the sacral segment تقريبا في منطقة ال S2 الى S4 segment of spinal cord هذا containing preganglionic parasympathetic cell bodies neurons that serving for uh, autonomic functions the pelvic subplanctic nerve اللي يسموها nervi irrigantis نسميها which con uh, control the uh, يعني sexual function or the, even the erection uh, of the uh, genitalia okay هاي يسموها the preganglionic parasympathetic neurons present in the lateral horn of the gray matter of the spinal cord فإذا نأخذ فكرة إنه السبانال كورد إذا أخذنا بمقطع كروس سكشن الجراي ماتر تقسم إلى قلنا uh, uh, three horns اللي هي anterior horn containing three group of muscle uh, neurons ال medial و central و lateral و ال posterior horn containing ال ال areas اللي تكلمنا عليها اللي هي gelatinosa و proprias و clark و visceral nucleus ال lateral horn اذا present بال, اذا 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 لقيناه موجود بال thoracic region it contains autonomic neurons serving for sympathetic واذا كان موجود بال sacral region منطقه ال s2 s3 s4 segments it contains neurons that serve for parasympathetic function so ال 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 the lamina of the erexid اللي هي تقريبا 10 lamina 10 lamina from uh, يعني romanic number اللي هي from 1 to 10 وبدي تشوفوا حضراتكم يعني اللي هي lamina 1 lamina 2 uh, substantia يعني gelatinosa و lamina 3 4 nucleus proprius و lamina uh, 3 4 و 5 6 و 7 اللي هي الانترميديت جراي ماتر الانترميديت هورن وايضا عندنا لامينا 8 ولامينا 9 اللي هم موتر طبعا هنا ولامينا 10 اللي هي موجوده تقريبا بالكوميونيكيتنج بار اوف ذا جراي ماتر سو فار اباوت ذا جراي ماتر تكلمنا عليها شكلها uh, تقسيماتها التايب اوف نيورونز ناو وي ويل تيك سم سلايدز اباوت ذا وايت ماتر اوف ذا spinal cord the white matter of the spinal cord the طبعا اكو نقدر نتكلم احنا عن اللامنه وعن النيورونز اوف ذا جراي ماتر بشكل مفصل لكنه ممكن حضراتكم ترجعون الى يعني المصادر الموجوده عندكم ويكان يعني جو ديب ان ذا اكسبلانيشن اوف ذيس ارياز اند لامينا اند ذير سبيسيفيك فانكشن اوكي ناو ذا بوست ذا وايت ماتر اوف ذا سبانال كورد وي هاف ذا بوستيرير بوستيرير لوكيتد وايت ماتر واللي نسميها ذا بوستيرير وايت كولوم where it lies between the posterior median 
uh, septum and the posterior gray, mat, gray horn of the uh, spinal cord. So between the area, then I have the sore, high tacribin, the whole gray dorsal horn, and the whole median uh, sulcus. So this area here, white area here, here white matter, here comprising the white column or dorsal column of the spinal cord. The lateral column, أكيد هاي المنطقة between the uh, posterior horn and anterior horn, where the white matter, اللي هنا located, call, we call it the anterior uh, white column of the spinal cord. So the posterior white column lies between the posterior median sulcus and the uh, dorsal horn of the gray matter. While the lateral horn, again between two, يعني the anterior horn, while the posterior horn of the gray matter, and between two anterior horns, we have the anterior white matter uh, of the spinal uh, cord. طبعا the posterior column, uh, يعني wide area, وكل very important, uh, has a functional aspect. Where it's occupied by the ascending fibers of the what is called the gracile and the cunate uh, 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 tracts, and they are concerned with the somatic sensation of the body, with the somatic sensation of the body. The uh, white matter, مثل ما قلنا إحنا قبل شوية, containing the large number of axons of axons of myelinated nerve fibers على عكس الجري ماتر that contains the body of the nerve cells the pericardium طبعا ال white matter of the spinal cord we will uh, come to explain them in more details من نأخذ إن شاء الله محاضرة ال ascending uh, pathways و descending pathways because they are axons or they are the white matter of the uh, spinal cord uh, we will take a s small important clinical points about the uh, spinal cord injury if we have complete uh, transaction of the uh, of the cord uh, it will followed by a total loss of sensation below the level of injury RTA or if a can bullet injury that transect the spinal cord at a level معين نتوقع انه you have a loss of sensation below the level of uh, uh, transaction uh, in the region يعني loss of sensation, uh, sensation in the region supplied by the cord segment below the level of of the injury where, uh, together with the flaccid muscle paralysis as the cord uh, distal to the section يعني عندنا sensation loss عندنا flaccid paralysis of the muscles below the level of uh, injury and uh, sometimes the cord below the section the cord below the section will recover from the period of spinal shock يعني at the time of injury uh, the spinal cord كله uh, below the level of um, <coughs> injury يعاني من what is called spinal shock واللي تعطي فيتشر تشبه ال upper motor neuron region لكن بعد فترة this uh, spinal cord below the level of uh, of the level of uh, injury will uh, recover from this period of spinal shock and the paralysis uh, becomes spastic with exaggerated reflexes where voluntary control is lost يعني of the anal uh, or anal sphincter and even the urinary sphincter will be uh, uh, lost. The control of these two sphincters will be lost. يعني إذا كان complete section of the spinal cord راح يكون عندنا loss of sensation ويصير عندنا muscle paralysis uh, uh, in the area <coughs> below the level of uh, section. إذا صار عندنا هيمي سكشن أوف ذا سبانال كورد إذا صار عندنا هيمي سكشن أوف ذا سبانال كورد ذيس ويل بي كولد لايك ذا براون سكوارد سندروم اللي هو بيكون باراليسيز 
on the affected side طبعا يعني نصف ال spinal cord will be affected by the disease by this syndrome يعني اما right half or left half وبالتالي يسموه هيمي سكشن اوف ذا سبينال كورد ايش راح يكون عندنا؟ وي هاف باراليسيز اون ذا افكتد سايد يعني ات مينز موتر يعني يعني ديفيسيت اون ذا افكتد سايد بلو ذا ليفل اوف ذا ليجن اللي هو بيراميدال تراكت اللي تسوي لي كورتيكو سبينال تراكت اللي هي تزود لي الموتر اوردرز uh, وبالتالي ات ويل بي لوست بيكوز كانوت ريتش تو ذا هالف افكتد وايضا عندنا لوس اوف بروبريوسبشن اند فاين ديسكريمينيشن اللي هو هذا الدورسال كولوم اوف ذا افكتد سايد والبين اند تمبرتشر سنسيشن ار اولسو لوست اون ذا اوبوزيت سايد بلو ذا ليفل اوف ذا ليجن اوف ذا سبينال كورد بيكوز ذا افكتد سبينال ثانامك تراكت ذات كاريز ذا ذات كاريز ذا تمبرتشر اند بين سنسيشن اللي هي اسمها سبينال ثانامك تراكت كاريز فايبرز ويتش هاف ديكاسيتد from one side to another side below the level of the cord hemisection يعني in a conclusion the hemisection of a spinal cord injury عندنا uh, paralysis or motor paralysis on the affected side and also we have loss of proprioception and fine discrimination uh, uh, due to the dorsal column of the affected side لكنه pain and temperature sensation they are also lost لكنه on the opposite side because the spinal thalamic tract that carries this sensation of pain and sen- uh, and and, and uh, temperature decassate from one side to other side وبالتالي can be spared on the same side of hemisection uh, lesion okay so we have two type of sections of a spinal cord either complete or hemisection this is the end of our lecture and we hope that you get informed and Uh, uh, everything is clear for you. The second lecture will be the ascending and descending uh, pathways of the uh, spinal uh, cord. Thanks. I'm, I'm ready for any questions. You can send it on the classroom and I will uh, replay for you either by uh, uh, writing the answers or even I will send a voice message or even I will send a short video or even we can do an um, online or live uh, uh, Google Meet uh, uh, conversation. Thanks and see you in the next lecture.